investigation. The FBI was investigating Donald Trump as a potential target of criminal wrongdoing. Comey's surprise firing shocked many here on Capitol Hill. The Republican chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee said he is troubled by the timing and reasoning of Comey's firing, releasing a statement praising the former FBI director for being more forthcoming with information than any FBI director he could recall in his tenure. If the administration had objections to the way Director Comey handled the Clinton investigation, they had those objections the minute the president got into office. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and other Democrats are demanding an independent prosecutor take over the Russia investigation. Former President Obama tapped Comey to lead the bureau. He was three years into his 10-year term. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now some breaking news we're following coming out of North Haven. That's where police say they found a man's body in a car. Channel 3's Evan White just got to the scene. He is joining us now live with the very latest. Evan, what can you tell us? Mark and Aaron, we're about 30 feet away from the scene. Police have a pretty good portion of the plaza here. The Dick's Sporting Good Plaza blocked off. You can see the police tape around the perimeter and quite a few uh, cars here as well. The car that we believe was involved in this is the black truck that you see there just in front of us. Police arriving around 7.35, they say, finding a man unresponsive in that vehicle, or in a vehicle, I should say. No sign of trauma, according to the police. Now, they say the scene is still being processed by detectives. They're not releasing the name of the individual, although they believe they know who it is as they try to notify next to kin. Again, this is the Dick Sporting Goods Plaza here in North Haven. A good portion of it blocked off as it has been since about 7.35 when police got a report of a person here not responsive. Uh, and again, no identity being released as of yet. Police still investigating this. Reporting live in North Haven with the mobile newsroom, Evan White, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Evan, thank you. Now at 11 tonight. It's kind of surprising, but at the same time, it's not, you know, because we know they're around. A coyote takes on a very large dog in Harwinton, and now a serious warning from animal control to pet owners tonight. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Evan White was in Harwinton before that breaking news in North uh, Haven that he was at. He has more tonight on what pet owners are saying and why one person really isn't bothered by the threat. In a thickly wooded town like Harwinton,